Greetings and welcome back to some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I thought I was done, turns out I'm not. I, I decided, I, I remembered that I'd never played the DLC for this game, so I decided to waste a little money that I don't have. Well, actually, I was going to get the uh, um, individual uh, thing of and then I saw the definitive edition was down to about £10. Don't you just love summer sales? So I noticed this, I had a little quick look earlier and I noticed this, and I'm assuming that's what it is. There's another one. Um, there and there's one up there but there's only seems to be the three of them this is a save file this isn't the same save file from my let's play of the main game this is the one for collecting all the music um uh but it should be about the same because i did all the extra tombs and all that um but i did notice in the main menu that um Right, I did Come notice over. them all in the... Have a minute? Come over if you have time. Uchu has something to ask you. Um, yeah, do you know, I'm tempted actually now to do a video where I do all the the extra little stuff. I feel a bit bad now that I didn't do that in the main let's play. Oh god, I swear to god, if the, if it turns out the person's in here all along, I'm gonna just... No! No, is that... Oh! <laughs> oh, uh, oh! Oh, Audacity's just about to hit 10 minutes! Oh my god, and he was there all along! Oh, it's not Uchu! It's, it's, no, it's not... Oh! Oh, is that a... Lady Warrior? Yeah. Yes, I am Korianka. Oh, hello Unuatu there. Has spoken very highly of you. I was the one who opened the way to the old barracks when Etsy was captured. Ah. You played a part in it as well. We are sisters of the same cause. Ah, I see. Your tattoo, are you... One of the shorn ones, yes. But that was another life. Before Amaru, when we stood for something else. He dissolved my order in favor of his priests. I am all that is left, but I swore an oath. Never take a step backwards in battle, so now I wear the colors of the rebellion. I am duty-bound to Queen Unuratu. Well, the reputation of the Shorn Ones is well known to me, historically speaking. It's an honor. You're too kind. I heard you speak of Emperor Sinchi Chika. Yes, the first emperor of Paititi. He is Unuratu's ancestor. He made this age everything we see, touch, smell, everything we fight for now. I've never heard of this shield before, the... The shield of the Age Maker. It is the evidence this rebellion needs that Unuratu is the one to lead Paititi into the next age. Inscribed on the shield is the ordination ritual. The ritual will prove Queen Unuratu is the next Age Maker. That only she may create destiny, and not that false god, Amaru. And where is the shield? Hidden. Deep within the mountain, beyond the path of Huracan. The path of Huracan? It is a trial, designed to test all those who seek the shield. You've already tried. That was my mission before Etsley was captured. Unfortunately, I had to divert. Since his rescue, the cult knows we're planning something, so... Now I must prepare our fighters, and the shield must wait. Only I fear that if we wait too long, Amaru may get to it first and deny Unuratu's claim. If Amaru gets the shield, he can unite Paititi behind whatever story he chooses and proclaim himself the Age Maker. He'll remake the world as he sees fit. Yes. That can't happen. I was hoping you would say that. That's my friend over there with Uchu. His name's Jonah. I'll contact him if I find anything. I'll stay close to him. Thank you, Lara. So, two thoughts. Number one, I, I had previously noted that all of the indigenous people um, pronounce Dominguez's uh, uh, proper name as Amaru, whereas Lara always says Amaru. It's a, it's, it's a slight difference, and maybe that, that, I wonder if, 
because you'd think that things like that are things that they would pick up while they were recording all the dialogue or doing all the motion capture or whatever. I wonder if it's a deliberate thing just to emphasise different accents um, and therefore if you've got a different accent you take a slightly different approach to pronouncing a, a word or a name. Um, second thing is, I mean, once again, I, I do find myself thinking that Lara really does like a strong woman. <laughs> oh, that, that is definitely her type. I never think about Lara in this way in any other iteration, but Survivor Series Lara. She likes a strong woman. So, um, we have to go get a shield from a mountain. I, I think it was pretty obvious from the way I introduced this video. I am playing all this blind. I do not know where I am going. So, um... Ah, right, okay. Ah, is that... Ah, oh, right, okay. Right, locate the entrance to the path of Huracan. Right, so that's, that's where... Is that not where we come out when, um... <clears throat> um, what part is it when uh, we have to sort of get the, the dead climber's gear? Uh, and then climb out of the caves. That's where we come out, isn't it? Hmm. Oh! Oh, swim through the lollies! Yeah! Dude, what are you doing? Oh, are they fishing? Oh, and there is actual fish there! Oh, I don't remember noticing that before. There is an awful lot of little details in this game that um, I wasn't really looking for while I was doing my Let's Play because I was sort of thinking, ah, I've done it all already. Oh yes, oh yes, I do remember something about the Serpent Guards stealing children. That's what that mission is. Right, oh, I think it's, is it just here -ish? Or is it f oh, is it further along? That's the cave we came out of. Oh, it's it's after the whole your shield stuff, isn't it? When we have our first encounter with them. Ah. Wait, there's some explodey stuff. I think it's explodey stuff. Oh, okay. I can never seem to remember what the the resources are for in this game. It's so obvious in Rise, but... Ah, oh, alright, we're just going in. You are about to enter a tomb. Your current progress will be saved. Do you want to continue? Yeah, sure, why not? That does sort of imply. Oh, all right. Okay, so it's um, it's not smoothly joined on to the rest of the stuff. It's just like sort of sellotaped onto the side. Right. Okay. Um, that does. Do, do, I wonder. Do we have campfires? Oh, another thing to check out is apparently there is lots of extra costumes with the the, the extra DLC. I don't know. What, I don't know why they bother with costumes in this game actually because you know it forces you to wear the Paititi stuff so much and I guess it's just a thing you do with games now. This is interesting this looks like there's been something here at some point and it's all fallen apart. Why are these big masts here? They, look, they almost kind of look like well they've got it looks like there's still bark on them or something but they, they do look like masts from a ship or something. Uh, I appreciate Lara's turned out. Uh, oh, oh. oh, I love the skulls in this game. All the skulls are carved into everything. What's that? Can we get up there? We cannot. Right. I assume that's a very long drop. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh, I think we can see skulls down there. <laughs> oh. 
platform we can get onto. Okay, that was like the main way. What's this down here? Oh, it's a Muriel. Excellent. Let's let's have a wee read at the Muriel. It looks like this very place. There are many men moving through it. Even more lay dead. And this, it's the shield. The prize they are all seeking. This is a trial. Just as Koryanka said, the path of Hurakan, the god of wind and storms. Koryanka. Oh, is that the, the chick we were just talking to? Um, Koryanka. I think I've already said, I just I love the names. Uh, place names or people names or god names. And all this sort of Mayan and Incan and and Aztec stuff. It's just it's, it's it's just so different from like sort of English or like sort of European languages. It's lovely. Caves are done in this game actually. There was a tendency for a long time in both games and movies to just like sort of make it like sort of flat floors with a sort of curved circular curve that you were going through and of course it, it should look like it's eroded not but well to a certain extent some of this should look like it's been carved and like sort of constructed but a good cave should look like it's eroded over time, you know, like water and, and weather has has carved it. Right, okay. Oh, wow! Look at that! That is not at all creepy. Right, where are we going? Haha, uh, where are we going? That seems awfully far. But maybe we're gonna. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, uh, we are going down, aren't we? Yes. It's telling us about the repelling. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, wow! Go away! I really need the repel. Oh. It's not going to go away, isn't it? The rappel swing hints. I want to take a screenshot because that's really cool. I love the way we've got the heavy. Ah, well, maybe when I replay this, it'll, it won't. I won't have hints. I just love the way we've got all the heavy blacks in the foreground, and then the, there's more detail in the background. And I love that. We've got a, we've got a waterfall. Oh, I love, I love sort of cave designs when there's like, you can see the holes up in the roof. So again, that sense of something's eroded away over time because of the wet weather above ground and then of course all the water coming in. Oh, this is really nice. I like this. Right, we're swinging water. I see it. Oh, I think the camera just twitched. There's something twitched there. Oh, actually, a third thing. There was a third thing I, I should have mentioned um, when I was talking to. Oh, God, her name's not. Oh, shite. Um. 
the, the way what's her name is talking about see this is like as i said this is a save file from once the game is completed so um Unaratu's dead um Exley's the king now um uh, and yet she was talking as if Unaratu was still alive or I mean, maybe she was talking about, you know, what this thing signified before Inarati died, but it can't... Ah, oh, damn it. I'm talking instead of concentrating. Yeah, but I just got the impression... Well, maybe maybe the DLC is designed in such a way, like, they sort of assume you're going to play through the game again instead of just loading up a, a, an old save file, so um, you might come across this when you've just arrived at YTT, maybe? But I certainly got that impression that the conversation didn't quite fit in with where we were in the story of the main game by this point, which is completed. Okay then. <laughs> need it here it does look like we're... yes the camera does switch it doesn't turn around smoothly it does switch that would be weird we are meant to repel that does yes wall run No, Lara, do not. Do oh, my God. No, we went and smoothed right around the corner that time. Right, okay, well, you know, games. Sometimes they just twitch. Okay, you have to be at the absolute maximum. There we go. Right, okay, Lara, we're, we're making progress. It's cool. Oh, oh. Again, go away, help thingies. I probably can turn them off, actually. But, um, oh, I mean, again, I just, I love the, the light shining through. And there's vegetation up there. I just, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. something we can shoot? No it's not. It just looks like one of those, you know, shoot five of these to unlock a whatever. I wonder, presumably the vegetation's not- oh! Presumably the, all the vegetation is not actually meant to be there and it's just like sort of everything's growing in with age. Oh, okay, well the light's gone all over here so we can- ah, oh, there we go. Skulls. Oh! Okay, the light's gone weird again. Give me my light back. Huh. I sort of dro- Oh my god, do they not look vaguely like the the um the Atlantean creatures from the first game? They're, they're not a hundred percent, but they're sort of making me think of that. Oh Oh yeah, we're outside again. It's gotten very cloudy. Um. Are we 
jumping? Hey, we're jumping. Ah, stop. We're not jumping. That was not water. <laughs> I thought that was... <laughs> oh, dear. Well, maybe we are jumping, just not the way I thought we were. Conquistadors. They explored further than I realized. Oh. Conquistadors. Oh, I know that. I know that word. Oh, that's embarrassing if it's already been brought up in the game. Which is full of gold. Mm, impossible. Can't I can't carry, carry anymore. Them. I mean, again, like I said earlier, this was my, um, this was my music playthrough. This was not the main game playthrough, and yet I'm still all... I'm still overflowing. Can I carry it? Oh! Prayer for the loyal dead. May the good Lord, in his infinite mercy, bless the souls of these loyal men and accept them into paradise eternal at his side. They served me well, and without their assistance, I surely would never have laid eyes upon what the Pytetians call the Shield of the Age Maker. It is with the deepest regret, therefore, as well as with a renewed commitment to my holy mission, that I have sent these men to their final reward. The secret that the shield revealed to me cannot be trusted with anyone other than myself. And so I left it behind, and upon returning here with my escort, I humbly performed my duty. In God's name, Amen. Um, did he kill people? Uh, I sent these men to their final reward? Does he mean heaven? I humbly performed my duty. Oh. Right, well, I, I think we can all agree that Lopez was a bit of a dick, or at least this version of him. And I don't know much. I know he was a real dude. I've read his Wikipedia page. It wasn't terribly long. I don't remember it being terribly detailed, though. But anyway, the, the shadow version of him is a bit of a dick. It's wind. It's another wind puzzle. Is it? God. The Survivor series loves this wind puzzle. Have I brought this up before? There's a wind puzzle in the first game with the shutters. There's one in the second game. And there's... Well, it looks like there's maybe several in this one. Oh dear. The ah. might have fallen due to an earthquake. Oh, right, okay. Right, so... <laughs> oh, that's quite good. It's got the dangly thing, like a, a official guide. <gasps> Look at... Oh, snap. Oh, snap. So I stopped to admire the view. This is the problem with blind let's plays. Oh, I like that it's got blue on it as well. Oh, I should have, I should have stopped in the middle. There's a bit you can stop in the middle. Like right here, where, where the shadows cast. So that's blocking the... Oh, oh, it's just. Uh. But you know, it was this over here that caught my attention. I just love the sort of the square or what rectangular window there. Presumably, that's where more wind's coming in. But I just, I love that light that's coming through. And then, of course, this pillar thingy on the the right side of the screen. I love the way the light's hitting that. Wow. 
This is something that I think was a bit lacking from my, my let's play of the main game. I wasn't really stopping and pay atten paying attention enough. It is a gorgeous game. Right. Oh, I love the bridges. Oh, look at that. Oh, hang on a minute. That's... What's this? Oh. Ah, ah, oh, right, okay. Ah, that's going to give us some protection in the middle of the... In the middle. Right, so we can stop for a moment. Right, well, that was fun. Like I said, it loves its it loves its wind puzzles, the Survivor series, but well, w uh, wind platforming moments. Right, I see the the thing is there. I couldn't get the door open, so they blasted through the ground. Oh, but are we maybe jumping there? Well, what's that then? What's this? Oh, it's nothing. I thought that was uh something we were climbing along, but I guess not. Right, is there anything here? Oh. Right, ah, uh, see these pesky, these pesky Europeans. They just come in and blow stuff up. I mean, Lara Croft would never. <gasps> oh. Oh, I love a bit of. Uh, of course, in uh, movies and games and all that, the, the the lightning and the thunder always happen at the same time. Of course, it shouldn't. Oh. It's interesting the way cameras get acknowledged in games these days. You know, the way you get the little droplets of, of rain. Now, is it rain or is it an Instagram filter? Oh, I think it's an Instagram filter. Very rarely in games does it actually feel like you're moving through... Um, oh, look at the lushness of the greens. Like, you can feel like they're wet. It's really nice. Um, it very rarely feels like you're moving through rain. It usually just feels like... an effect on top of the image you're looking at. Where on earth am I going? I do see it looks like there's some... Oh, right, okay. Okay, great, Lara. I mean, that's kind of where I was trying to get to anyway. Although, no, we haven't just immediately ended up at the temple. I mean, once again, we are having to... I actually saw the lightning in the sky! Oh, brilliant. I'm really enjoying this. Damn it. What the? What was that? <laughs> Too far away though. Oh, there was some weird... Okay, cool, Lara. Oh, there was something... Whoops. Oh, there it is again. It's like an effect in 80s Doctor Who. Hope this part is Hearing. Oh, maybe I had to go all the way down. It does sound a bit like the Yashio, but again, that would be weird if we fought them. Or maybe they don't recognise me out of. Or maybe I went down too far. Maybe they, uh, maybe they won't recognise me without the mask. You know, 
the the mask of uh, the shield. I just, I am assuming that we're meant to swing towards that, and you know, like that puzzle when you're heading towards the hidden city. Damn it. I, I felt like it was breaking, that's why I rushed off, but again. Yeah, I believe you've said that long. Huh? It a bit. I can't believe this is the thing I'm getting hung up on. I really hope that at some point in the future games will um, recognise that you're playing something over and over again. So you're not hearing the same line. Of, like, we, we, we've all played the game and we've all had that moment where we're hung up on something. So we keep hearing this one line of dialogue over and over and over and over and over again. It would be really nice if games could sort of recognise, you know, we don't need to keep doing that. Yeah. Alright, go to- alright, oh, okay, she's not going to. Right, she's just swinging. Okay, great. Bridge. Mind you, we've already had a couple in this game so far, haven't we? Right, okay. to bring it over a bit. You have to make a judgement about how... how far over to bring it though. No, uh, 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 uh. That. Oh, it's just bags that are in it, okay. So when that sort of goes away, right. Oh, damn it! Did that bring that forward just a bit too much? Oh, 
Oh, come on. I made it. God, I'm going to be seeing Lara falling to her death in my dreams tonight. Oh, I hadn't spotted that. It. Oh, there's not a way to move that again. Oh, no, I suppose because we're moving the crank thingy. I'm just wondering if there was a way to move it once you're... It's hard to judge from this angle if we're even... I was I was behind it. This is oh. Yeah, thanks, Lara. because we can't aim when we're on something like this. I thought maybe we could attach it to that and then... No, she's never going to make it. Nah. No. Let's just try and judge where the halfway point on that bridge is because we're at, because of the angle that we're at. I actually watched the thing up there. I thought the the instant it stopped spinning, that's when I should. That's when I should get moving. It seems to have been more successful than. We're watching the thing of the jiggers underneath. Oh, it's a mouse. Right, okay, I was just wondering, where the hell am I going? Oh, look at <gasps> Oh, was that meant to happen? Oh, what's that thing on top? Oh, This is lovely. This is really lush. All this green, all this wet green, it is making me think of the title screen actually. Uh oh, we're not gonna get. Oh, snap! do that now and again you know like I think there's a danger now with games where this platforming feels too safe oh I love the way the, 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 this game's done it numerous times like when you're um, climbing around a corner the way the, the background just kind of reveals itself
Ah, do we need to... Oh, here, what was... Yes, that. Ah, is that going to be a cover? Oh, it's not going to last long, though, is it? It'll have to be quick. It'll snap. Ah, I can hear it snapping. Ah, and there we go. Right, okay. I figured out just a little bit too late what I was... Why I was actually doing that. Right. Okay, cool. Oh, should I wait until... Right, move, Lara. There we go. Presumably... Ah... Uh, oh, is that maybe... Ah... Oh, maybe attach... Attach that... To that... But there is a thingy majigger there, so presumably we could go over there. Or would we attach or I um because presumably we get to oh no well Ugh. Let's give it a go. Can't carry anymore. Gonna go, but ah, oh, it's gonna go back up. Oh god, it's not a timing puzzle, is it? Ah, there we go. Right, okay. I thought we had to make it through over the whole thing. Oh, there's not a... Good God, the wind's coming from all directions. Oh, is that going to move backwards? Oh, it... Ah, ah. Oh! <laughs> but is it? Aye, it is! I was wondering what that blue thing was. Oh, I see. It's uh, yeah, it's got a gap to it. No, like ah, uh, I was going too fast or too slow. See, the problem with the, the, the this thing with the oh, oh, um, see, the problem with this thing is um because of the angle we're at and the the angle that the thingy things are. At, um, it's a bit difficult to actually see where it is and where I am in, re in relation to it. Right, okay, I probably jumped just a little bit too soon there, but we got we got there. Oh, oh ho, oh ho ho ho! ho, ho. I, the I, shield is gone. Yes, indeed. I don't know. Put Koryanka on. Koryanka, the shield's been taken. And Amaru has it already. He wouldn't risk bringing it back into the city. It must be even deeper within the mountain. All right, I'll go after it. Oh, there's a thing in the jitter. Right, what's this? Ritual book. This details the ordination ritual Koryanka mentioned. 
During the cleansing after the cataclysms, the eclipse will appear. Using the key of Shackshell, open the silver box and absorb the energy of Kugel Khan. Ah. Oh. Was the key the dagger? Was it the dagger of Shackshell? And the silver box of Eshell? Oh, I can't even quite. Right, well, I mean. Right, okay. Yes, um, I didn't notice it was a sequel of a, a shield as soon as we came in. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, let's. I mean, I just assumed. I just thought. Are we going through there, maybe? Well, right, what's this? Oh, you get the usual music. Ah! A thousand eyes. Allow survival instincts to stay active. Oh, we got a trophy. That was a breeze. I <laughs> soon the trophy's called That Was a Breeze. Allow survival instincts to stay active when moving through tree canopies or concealed walls. Ah, right! So you can sort of move and keep the survival instincts active. Well, would that be handy during stealth? You know. Right, well I was about to say I thought this this thing would just be the one thing and we'd be travelling about, but actually I think maybe it is just oh yeah 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 yeah. Well anyway, I think I think I know a dog who wants his supper, so I'm gonna take a wee break here. going to be crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. <laughs> 